um, from the 10,000 hours experiment. I'm doing this video today to really showcase exactly what I've done over the last year. Um, I've practiced 365 days and, and these are the results I've got and this is how I did it. So in 2020, in, in January 2020, I started uh, playing darts with a 40 average. And what I wanted to do is try and get to a, a level professional and, and obviously be playing at a very high standard. Now, it took me obviously a year to get from a 40 average to now an 80 average playing in matches. Uh, this is exactly how I did it and what happened. So phase number one, I started off in the first couple of months um, starting to change my throw very slightly because I realized from watching a lot of videos online and different dart players, it was pretty bad. It needed some improvements and to make it a little bit better. But I was spraying all around the board you know, 45, 45, I couldn't, I couldn't hit early, any trebles hardly or anything like that. Um, so the first phase is me trying to make my throw more stable, making my body not move so much and trying to focus on just my arm moving basically. first phase I really had to focus on um, practicing as much as I could to get anything I was changing really bedded in my throw so it become part of my muscle memory and I was doing it all the time because if I wasn't doing that what I'd, what I'd realize is I'd go back to the board and, and something would change um, I mean on our average I was doing around 10 to 15 hours a week of practice and when I say practice I mean intensely, so I would practice solid for say two hours with no breaks in between um, to ensure that I was getting that in their muscles. So not you know not walking back to the to the hockey and waiting oh, as if my opponent was going to throw. Just collect throw, collect throw, and the rate of that is about 16 darts per minute. Now phase number two was very much about obviously repetition, keep compounding, trying new exercise, and also trying to make sure that although I've got the techniques I want, I really wanted to just close my grouping in that little bit so I could get a little bit tighter in terms of where I'm gonna go. Because if I'm gonna go um, you know, at the treble 20, even if I'm not hitting every time, at least I'm gonna be closer. Um, so I might go in the treble five and stuff like that. This is the, the, the next biggest phase that I tried. Um, and to do that, I was doing specific exercises like trying to hit um, as many trebles as I could, not just trying to hit a 180, just trying to hit as many trebles as I could, or as many darts within the ball's eye rings as I could. Um, and obviously that's helped put, pull things in. That So after practicing that for a good few months uh, in phase two, I started to hit um, on and off a few more, a few more trebles, and I hit my first 180. In phase three, um, I started to really try and hone my skills a little bit and try to get um, because I'm hitting 180, you know, 180s on and off, and, and I'm going to get more consistent with stuff. I try to really focus on um, doing that in a match because there's no good just hitting the board, being great on a practice. And then you go into a match. I played my first match online and, and I realized that I didn't perform the same. So what I did, I started to try and play more and more matches online, get that competition and really practice under pressure. I quickly realized that a big part of the game is the doubles. So obviously, you know, hitting the doubles when it counts is a big, big thing. So then I put in a lot more training drills and exercises towards um, like round the clock with doubles, trying to hit say two or three in the doubles bed, especially uh, especially double 20, um, because that you're, you're raising your arm up every time to do it. That really, really helped getting that grouping even tighter and also performing well in matches, which really made a big difference to my averages. And phase four was really about, um, you know, practicing um, properly, ensuring what I'd done already, um, I learned and grew from that. 
and refining my throw a little bit. I realized that, you know, when pros are throwing, a lot of their, what they do is in the follow through. So, you know, I've tried to build that in more and get a good, very good for throw looking now. Um, and what I really can want to say is in that whole period of practicing intensely for the whole year, um, getting from a 40 to an 80 average, I've thrown over uh, approximately 504,000 darts, which is a good amount, um, but obviously there's a long way to go. To get to that standard, I need to keep going, keep moving, and keep practicing learning from what I've done. Um, I have played at Q School, and obviously that made a big difference to my journey as well um, in learning and growing, but I've got to keep going and keep pushing onward and, uh, and seeing where we can go. These charts show exactly what my performance was over the whole period. So you can see it's gone basically up so gradually, gradually, gradually. And then there's a period in the probably phase two where I had a slight injury just for the amount of practice and not stretching. Um, and obviously then it carried on the same sort of trajectory. I think it will be harder as I go forward, but it was nice to see a very gradual increase. And I didn't look at it until I actually finished and sort of made this video. So yeah. Yeah, I really hope you liked the video. Um, just one more thing, please subscribe and support me and any videos you'd love to see, please drop me a message or a comment. Um, I'm, I'm always open to ideas, but I've got some new ones in the pipeline. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, feel free to check out my, my 10,000 hour journey on Instagram, uh, Facebook or on YouTube. Cheers.